Yeah, drone here. What's going on, guys? This is the Isheen Bugs 3 Mini Clone. And if you can see on the back here what I've done, I've taken a JST connection, positive to negative, you have five solder points. The middle one, you don't worry about. The left one is your positive. Bridge does connect to positive. The right one is your negative. Bridge does and negative. And as you can see here, we are using a larger battery. We're using a 1200 milliamp an hour battery. Um, this is essential. These two little stickies on here, double-sided tape, but I didn't peel the other side, so I just stuck it to here. Um, this is essential because then when you stick this in here, we can wiggle that all around. That's snugger than a bug in a rug. What does that mean? Snugger than a bug in a rug. Are there bugs in my rug? Um, I don't know where I've heard that saying before, and I don't I don't understand what sense it makes, but it sounded good. This is snugger than a bug in a rug. Um, we're going to go ahead and do a basic flight review in here with it. Obviously, this will not be your full flight time because generally we'll be outside and we'll be really buzzing around. Um, I also have this FPV camera that came on the e sheen off. Um, the eyes really set back in there. The, the per visual depth and your perception is not that great out of it. That... that eventually we'll change and we'll put an AIO on there that would be better uh, your field of view is not great on it at all so we're just going to close this up this this top comes off very easy same thing with the bugs three mini um, and then all we have to do here is connect our JST which let's see the way it is and we're going to bam so make sure that's plugged in there really good we're going to go ahead and turn on our controller and Maybe, what do we got going on here? Maybe I got to bind this again. Let's do this. There we go. I had to bind it. So if it's blinking, it's not responding. Hold your red button, turn it on. Um, I think, I, I've tried to bind this to the jumper. It's a different protocol than the MJX Bugs 3 Mini, which is ridiculous because they're using almost the same controller. But let's go ahead and fire the motors. Um, bams up. Let's go up. Um, ideally, the normal person may not want to fly this in their house because uh, if this does hit a wall, um, depending on what uh, material your walls are, you might damage something. Also, you could damage yourself if you fly <laughs> um, if you fly into yourself with this. But I feel pretty confident this is small enough that we could just kind of do little maneuvers in here. Nothing too crazy. And just get a burn on this battery. Again, it's 1200 milliamp an hour battery stock JST connection. I believe it came out of probably a Tarantula 6, X6. Or um, the drone that I was flying yesterday is originally came with a 1200 milliamp an hour, milliamp an hour despite the fact we threw a 2200 in there. Let's see if we get some funnels going. Some funnel action in the drone room. Easy there. What this is going to do, one, it's going to add a little bit more weight to the drone, and two, we should get increased flight times out the wazoo. Again, this will not be an accurate assessment of flight time because we are inside, and although I am moving this, I'm trying to keep it moving, we're not moving it nearly as hard as we would outside. We're not seriously punching this around. And uh, if you're in acro, your rates are going to increase. That'll also decrease your flight time. Bam. And this is really just easy on the sticks. I'm going really easy on the sticks. I'm not punching them because if I do punch them, this drone will punch. We know that. And as you can see, it's not having any issues with the mod. Um, again, there's five pins above your long pins that the proprietary battery plugs into. And your left two are your positive. Your right two are your negative. Bridge them. Do positive on the left two. Bridge the right. And then do negative on the right. Don't worry about the center pin. It is null and void. There is a guy that I believe... Uh, the ESCs, I believe this has ESCs maybe, or all in one ESC, I don't know, I haven't opened up the arms, but up above it, he actually did a positive and negative off of that, I don't see why you would do that, but it worked for him, so if you want to go ahead and do that, you could do that as well, myself, I would suggest 
just going off of where the normal battery would go, and that makes sense to me. Um, what else? Proprietary, yeah, try to say that again. Proprietary batteries I'm getting sick of. Um, I charged up, let's see, the Bugs 5W. You guys see what I got in here. I got a lot of stuff. I'm usually good without, with not losing stuff. I modded the charger. That way we could charge it off of the B6. I got the battery charged. And then uh, that was the day that uh, I had to work on my pipes because uh, I had a pipe burst. And in between working on my pipes and whatnot, I got a little bit of frazzle mind. And I don't know where the battery is. Tuesday, I got a battery coming in. But it's extremely proprietary. That was where I was going with that story. I'm getting sick of proprietary batteries just as well as this. I was getting sick of the charger. Having to kind constantly find the charger for this one drone to fly it. Now I don't have to do that. Now I have added flight time. I also have uh, a battery that I could run on my B6, my balanced charger. I don't have to look for the stock. Well, I know where the stock batteries were. I'd keep them in the bay on this. But as far as the chargers go, dude, I have so many wires, man. So many wires. And to try to keep finding one charger for one drone is sickening. It is truly sickening. So I'm slowly starting to try to figure out how to mod these drones that have proprietary batteries. That way we can either charge off of the B6 or we can use a standard battery. Because that's all it is. It's a lipo in a fancy shell. I am working on a Holy Stone Bolt B. Uh, 850 milliamp an hour battery to plug into the stock connection without modifying it. Although we will, again, be able to use that. Um... It's a, it's a stock battery that I've modified, and hopefully that'll give it more flight time. The Bolt Bees battery is not bad. We don't need a stock charger for that. We could run that off of uh, the B6 balance charger. I'm, wait, I'm waiting to crash here, guys. We usually crash in here, but I'm being very careful with this, and it's extremely responsive, which is nice. Get a nice breeze off these blades. And doing this, again, I don't suggest doing this if you're new at flying, if you can't control your hover. Like right now, you can see I can control my hover even when I'm spinning. Looks like it has altitude hold. Um, if you can't and your drone is constantly up and down like a yo-yo, I'll try to do it. Where it's up and down, up and down. Uh, don't do this inside. You really need a steady hand to be able to do this inside. But if you do have that steady hand outside and you need to discharge this battery... This is a good way to do it. It's also a good way to get some control. So we have an LVC here. I'm going to continue flying it because I kind of want a full flight time all this. On this, an extremely, ex look, one hand, um, an extremely, extremely uh, calm environment. This would be as chill as a flight as you would get outside unless somebody's flying it more chill than this. Then uh, you're going to get an extremely long flight time. But we're going to keep flying it. Because I believe we get a second LVC on this, if I'm not mistaken. I could be mistaken. Whoop! There it is. Whoop! Dang! Shut it up. Shut it up. Shut it up. Shut it up. <laughs> there was the crash that I was waiting for. I was doing backwards funnels and getting carried away. Let's see if we can take off again. Let's see if we can take off again. We can. So we're going back up. So that was a mild crash. Um, which takes away from my time just by a little, we'll say like 20 seconds or so. Yeah, see what I was doing? I'll try to do it again. I was kind of doing backwards funnels, <laughs> which I'm going to try to do. There, backwards funnels like that. And, uh, we got caught up over there. But, bam, I just successfully did it. Whoa! And we are down again. Shut the motors off. See? Wouldn't be a J drone video in the drone room if we weren't crashing. Again, we're back up. And the whole reason I'm doing this, crashing and back up quickly, because I want a fair assessment on this battery. We can assuredly take um, a minute to two minutes off of this flight time. Because, again, we're going to be flying a little bit more aggressive than we would outside. But this should be a, a nice judge on do you want to put a JST connection on this. One, added flight time. Two... The simplicity of grabbing a normal battery and putting it on a 
hobby grade charger or even a normal USB charger that you have for JST without having to look for the proprietary battery without having to look for the proprietary charger left to right back and forward left right back forward that's how you do the do si do I hope y'all know left right back forward gotta put a little twang in your swank <laughs> um, we are going 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 and again I'm trying to move this constantly that way it's not a hover test I hate hover tests absolutely hate them they're inaccurate Dude, I ran a 2S battery that was a little bit puffed on a DM007, DM009 earlier, fired the motors. That battery ran for just about two hours and just got under 3.7 volts. That'll tell you something about a bench test, how inaccurate they are. Beep, beep, beep. Round and round it goes. Where's the stop? Nobody knows. Easy there, buckaroo. Hit myself in the face, but I'm going to have a battle wound. <laughs> yeah. And then we'll throw a little direction into it for a little funnelage. Woo! Get away from me! <laughs> May not be the most interesting video. Maybe it is. Maybe uh, somebody's sitting there waiting for me to dice open my face. I've flown the Alcenma in here. <laughs> that was actually my first flight with the Alcenma. And I did. I almost chopped off my face. My whole face almost was chopped off. That video's on uh, YouTube. I got close. I got really, really close. That's a larger brushless drum that should not be flown inside. I don't think I'd do it again. I don't even think I'd do a hover test on one inside. So we're getting a long LVC off of this. Be nice if there was a way to hook up an all-in-one camera to this, to the board, which would, would give us a, a readout, an LVC readout on our voltage. If somebody knows how to do that, please do it. Make a video. Show J-Drone. That way I can do it. Because this is, dude, this is getting a great flight time. I still got punch. I still got plenty of punch, so the voltage can't be that low. This might be a holy stone effect where, uh, like the Bolt B had extremely, uh, quick LVC. Although this one wasn't super quick, it's just seeming to give us a long LVC. Whoop! And, uh... In the description down below, I will test this battery once we're done. And in the description, I'll let you guys know what the voltage was on this battery come the end of the flight. To make sure this isn't overdrawing the battery, I'd like uh, I'd like the end of this flight, this battery still to be above 3.7. I mean, if it's like 3.65 or 3.6, I'm fine with that. But just to let you guys know what's happening here, because uh, this is pretty impressive. This is pretty impressive because, as I've noted in a lot of my videos, I can generally tell when the voltage is getting lower. It'll have less punch. It'll have less responsiveness. Woo! Beepy, beepy, beepy. Welcome to the beepy show. Right there. There we go. It's down. Shut motors down. Shut motors down. There we go. So we're going to shut this off. Beep, 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 beep. Loss of controller. Two drone. That's an excellent feature. And let's see where we're at here. 14 minutes. Dude, 14 minutes. Maybe with it, we're, we're, we're going to subtract. We're almost at 15 minutes. We're subtracting three minutes. 
You might see over a 10 minute flight time with this. You might see over a 10 minute flight time with this mod. Guys, I'm J Drone. If you haven't subscribed, smash the subscribe button. Questions, comments, concerns down below. You might see a 10 minute flight time with this mod. Um, I'm pretty stoked about that. I am really stoked about that. Again, we are at the 15 minute mark. We'll take like a minute to two minutes for wind up. We'll take like another half a minute to another half a minute. And then we'll deduct another two minutes for aggressive flying. You might see a 10 minute flight time with this. Um, I'm stoked about that. I'm stoked about that. It's a good mod in general. Um, whatever flight time we got, I would have been happy with the mod because we do not have to deal with proprietary batteries. These batteries you can get all day online. Just go ahead and search in Amazon, YouTube, uh, or you know, let, let's go to a shopping channel. Amazon, eBay, or Google. Go ahead and search a 7.4 volt, 1200 milliamp an hour with a JST on it, and you'll get the battery that I have in there. And again, it's simple. Two pins to the left, positive. Two pins to the right, negative. And then the center one is null and void. Guys, if you haven't subscribed, smash the subscribe button. This model worked for the Bugs 3 Mini. I have that modded already, but I have a, I have a 200 milliwatt DVR AIO in the front of it. So I wanted to fly something a little bit more stock. Um, although we do have the weight of that camera in there. Um, all right, guys. Later. Thumbs up. Bing, hit that notification bell. Get modding your toys. These are toys. Mod them up. I do have new stuff. We'll get some unboxings when I find myself in a time crunch. And then we'll also get flying some new stuff later.